Hello, beautiful lean girls. Welcome back to the Lean Girl YouTube channel. I am pumped for today's video, physically and mentally, because we're talking about one of my favorite topics, which is protein. Okay, my favorite macronutrient, and we're gonna get into why. But if you're new to the channel, a big welcome. Thank you for landing here. A quick intro of what this whole channel is about it is essentially me, Angie, trying to simplify the science of getting lean in a way that is practical and fun and easy to implement so that you can get lean and you can live your best life in the process without your head having to hurt, without you having to try and figure everything out on your own. My goal, my mission is to simplify the science and give it to you and in a way that is practical and actionable and all of those good things. So welcome if you're here. I hope that you find a lot of value on this channel and today's video is a great one to start. If you're an old girl, hey old girl, I love you. My lean girls, my lean girl community, you are, you are all what make me excited to get up in the morning and create content, so thank you. Um, so let's get straight into it. Today I hope it's going to be a short video, but it is going to be powerful. We are going to be talking about the number one macronutrient that you want to focus on if you want to get lean and lose fat, and that is protein. Your steak, your chicken, your eggs, you know. Why is protein good for fat loss? Now, a lot of us, when we think about protein, we think mostly about muscle gain. But when we are thinking about fat loss, we're like, ah, eh, is it really important? And I'm here to tell you that hell yes, it is. Protein is the most important macronutrient. So let's take it one step back. If you wanna lose fat, we know you have to be in a calorie deficit. Calorie deficit means you need to be eating less calories than you're burning. Hence, a deficit, a minus, which means that your body has to get that energy from somewhere and luckily it goes from a little booty, no not the booty, the thigh fat stores, if we're lucky. That was me saying a little mini prayer. Spectrum, Spectrum, Cacum, Tutu, Eplubium. Amen. Um, so essentially the number one thing when it comes to fat loss is being in a calorie deficit. So you can't just eat protein and think that it's going to help you lose fat. So number one, you have to be in a calorie deficit. Number two, you want to eat enough protein. Okay, so there are three macronutrients. There's protein, there's carbs, there's fats. I don't care about the other two. I really don't. I only tell my girls stick to your calorie budget based on your goal and then hit your protein goal. So when we're talking about protein goals, a great um, goal to work toward, and I know that it's challenging, especially when you're getting started and you're not used to eating a lot of protein. So to start off with, you can start with 1.5, but the goal is two grams of protein per kilogram of body weight. So if you weigh 60 kilograms, your goal would be 120 grams of protein a day. I go more into exact macro calculations in like my program. So if you're interested in that, check out my Lean Body Lab program. I'll guide you through all of that. Um, but in today's video, I just wanted to focus on three main points that make protein fantastic, wonderful, beautiful when it comes to fat loss. Reason number one why protein is so vital is because it helps us to maintain lean body mass. Lean body mass or lean muscle is the holy grail of building a lean body, okay? The only reason someone looks toned and hard is when they have lean muscle on their body. There is no other thing that makes you look toned. Your body has three things. There's your skeleton, there's your skin, there's fat, and there's muscle, okay? So what we are trying to do is we're trying to reduce the fat because the fat is obviously, it's squishy, right? It's, it's not, not a good look. So, I mean, you do have to have some fat, um, but you want lean muscle. So what happens often if when we're losing weight, we don't focus on protein at all, 
we tend to lose the lean body mass, the lean body um, mass that we have, right? So when people lose weight fast, especially, we tend to lose not only fat, but we lose muscle. And at the end of the day, when you do that, you end up just a softer, saggier version of your previous self. And now you're like, damn, I've reached my goal weight on the scale, but why do I still not look good in a bikini? Then you have to start building muscle again. So, and then that is a really difficult, slow, hard process, especially for females. We just do not have the right hormones, well, the, the levels of hormones that make muscle building very efficient. So we want to make, firstly, the loss of muscle as we lose weight and um, keep it to a minimal and that is where protein comes in so if you are following a high protein diet that will mean that when you are losing weight most of that weight is going to be coming from fat yes please and we are going to maintain the lean body mass that you already have and when you're training in the gym you can then also start optimizing your lean muscle gains and that is where you are going to get that beautiful toned shape that we are after. So reason number one why we need to hit those protein goals is it is going to help us to maintain and build lean body mass. And another fun fact before we move on to the next point is that muscle also burns more calories on a daily basis than fat does. So if you have to take one kilogram of fat or one kilogram of muscle, muscle needs more energy in order to exist so that's just another reason why we want to keep that lean body mass reason number two is that protein actually uses more energy to just digest and burn so if you have to take the three macronutrients carbs fats and proteins when you actually ingest them the digestion and absorption process uses energy and so fat actually uses the least energy to break down carbs uses a little bit more but protein uses quite a lot 20 to 30 percent of the of the actual energy within that food is used to just break it down so when we are using extra energy to digest absorb and metabolize that food it means that we are creating more of an energy deficit at the end of the day and when we're trying to lose fat that is what we are trying to do so although it's not a huge amount it certainly does help if a big portion of your food of your meals is coming from protein as a macronutrient so essentially you are getting more bang for your calorie buck yes please and reason number three why protein is fabulous for fat loss is it helps to keep us full right when we're on a diet, hunger is the enemy, right? When you have a big appetite, like your goal over here, like it's just a bottomless pit, just never get full. Um, protein is your best friend. So protein is the most satiating macronutrient, which means it keeps you fuller for a hell of a lot longer and also cues those satiety hormones to be like, okay, the girl is full. And I'm sure you've experienced this if you go out for like, a big piece of steak or eat like two chicken breasts you never like oh I could definitely have another chicken breast or like oh I definitely like another steak after this you can definitely feel that the protein keeps you satiated and also for a longer period of time so try this out even in like a bowl of oats which is pure carbs add some protein powder into that and you will be amazed because if you just give me plain oats honestly within 30 minutes the girl is hungry again um, so try adding protein into your meals and you will see how much more satisfied you feel and at the end of the day that is going to help us to stay within our calorie deficit, lose that fat, get lean and hence why it's good for fat loss, right? It's going to keep us satiated, help with appetite control. So some practical steps that I want you to take away from this video is number one, calculate your protein goal. That was two grams per kilogram of body weight. Then I want you to prioritize protein in every single meal. So every meal before you start planning the chips or the oats or the, okay, let's start with protein. Then a good whey protein shake every day can also really help. I use the Metalab brand, absolute favorite. It's a local SA brand honestly like protein 
milkshakes. It's so delicious. So that will also help you to reach your protein goal. And then also when you are choosing snacks, try and go for snacks that are more high protein. So instead of having a chocolate bar, have a protein bar. They're also so delicious. The grenade bars. Do yourself a favor. I know they're like 5,000 times the price of a chocolate, but hey, we're doing it for the gains and for the, the fat loss, you know? And then some extra resources if you want some more help on how to reach your protein goal, how to include more protein, how to work out your own calories and macros based on your goal, check out my Lean Body Lab program. That is my eight week lifestyle overhaul program that teaches you the simple science of getting lean in eight weeks. By the end of those eight weeks, you are gonna be equipped with every single thing that you need to get and stay lean for life. Then another little resource is my kitchen coach. So that has unbelievable, delicious, all high protein meals that have all been created by yours truly, macro calculated, um, protein is always super high in all of them. So if you want some meal ideas on how to start including more protein, check the kitchen coach out. And then I do have a free resource for you as well that I'm gonna put along with this video, which is my Lean Girl grocery list. And that has a fab list of all of my favorite lean proteins in as well. So if you need some help on where to start, what are the best foods that are high in protein, you can grab my grocery list down below for free. I love free things. The only free thing you never want to get is a free tattoo. That's just, that's the rule in life. Anything else, take it. Just don't say yes to a free tattoo. Really, words of wisdom today. That's it, my girls. This is a wrap up on why protein is fab for fat loss. So go plan your meals, get that protein goal. Use my fitness pal to track. It's a fantastic app. I know you can do it. So that's it my girls. I hope that you enjoyed this quick educational video on why protein is fab for fat loss. So go and get those high protein meals in. Check out my page, my Instagram for tons of meal inspiration as well. And I will see you back here on the Lean Girl YouTube channel next week. Thank you.